Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Magnolia, North Carolina, weighing in at 233 pounds, with a professional record of 19 wins, five defeats, with 14 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA heavyweight champion of the world, James Bone Crusher Smith. And in the blue corner, from Catskill, New York, weighing 219 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 28 wins, no defeats, 26 KOs. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. On the tail of the tape, Actually, Bone Crusher Smith, he looks even bigger than six feet four, and sometimes Tyson a little smaller than five feet, 11 and a half. But I think maybe that 13 years uh, difference in age could make quite a bit difference here. Certainly that's how the odd players see it, but it, let's get it on, shouts the referee. And it's almost like sitting on red alert here, waiting for the explosion to happen. So we can't afford to blink, and I'm sure that these heavyweights can't either. So there we go then. He's had a couple of one round wins now, Bone Crusher Smith, but can he do it against the man who uh, specializes in knocking people over in one round? Stone difference between them 16 9, 15 9. miss with that right hand there almost felt the the wind of that at the commentary position right against the ring apron now this is where we know that Mike Tyson chin short to be tested there's no reason to suspect he's not the iron man and he real really comes out firing early doesn't he Tyson he doesn't want to stand and look at anybody the way he can duck and dive there it's a smart move that he's, he's actually got more boxing ability than given credit for I think well the old bone crusher is not coming out throwing the punches as he did with Tim Witherspoon I think that was uh, desperation maybe he's in uh, much better condition now and feels he can bide his time but can he the <laughs> referee flicking the the gloves away there to stop them hanging on. Oh, what a punch up right away. They're not holding back anything, I promise you that. Well, he's already sampled a few punches to uh, Bone Crusher Smith and uh, doesn't seem too disturbed at this point. Oh, and again there going to hang on for dear life he's going to stick to him like a barnacle by the look of it at close quarters well if bone crush is hoping that tyson will punch himself out it might be a mistaken tactic because even in the fights that went 10 rounds and only two of those from 28 he won clearly tyson Countdown for the end of the first. And the stare from Tyson and Bone Crush is saying, what's this all about? And that's really unnecessary, that. I'm disappointed to see them do that. Because they're out of the ring, they're not that sort of character. But they must have really steamed themselves up for this one. And now the referee's got a job on his hands. Fighting after the bell is what they call going amateur on them in the pro game. Don't close your eyes, look at him and punch. Well, well, no Mr. Nice Guy in this fight. Round two. 
And now it's really going to get bad tempered, I suspect. Well, very much untidy. Just wiped a little bit of blood away from his eye there, I think, Brian Crusher. And I'm not surprised the way they've been bumping and boring close in like that. Well, he found the target for that one. He's, he's been missing a bit with him, Tyson, but the left hook came through. But he really is grabbing for dear life there. Now, the referee is going to do something about this, I'm sure. And he's sending him a neutral corner. And he's taking a point away for holding for Smith. Well, I don't think it's going to go to points anyway. In fact, I'm sure it isn't. Well, there's not too much Marcus of Queensbury rules about this. I think they part the rules at the gates in here in Las Vegas. And he has cut around the left eye, as I thought he was. It's just worsened since I first mentioned it at the start of the second bone crusher. So he's got to get a bit desperate now. It's amazing with bone crusher. It's as though he doesn't really want to be in there at this stage. It's really incredible because he's only really started to make the big money. He became uh, known really in the fight game when he managed to win in the last round against Frank Bruno in London. And now he just, he just can't keep this octopus of a fighter off. That seems to be the problem. Now he's trying to use the ring. I'm surprised he didn't do that earlier as we get the countdown for the second. And some booing coming from the crowd. Well, as I said, if he's hoping to let Tyson punch himself up, that's a mistake. And he wants to go on fighting. This is really bad. I can't understand why they're doing this. Two disciplined professionals. And Tyson's trainer, Kevin Rooney, saying, sit down, sit down. And the same there in Bonecrusser's corner. Not bad. Now, let's have a look at some replay there now. It's all Tyson crowded in, and it's uh, Bone Crusher hanging on for the most part. One, two. One, two, Crusher. One, two. One, two. That's uh, boxing pilots for the left hand, followed by the, the straight right. But at 33, he's, uh, he's looking older by the minute as we come out for round three. And he's going to have trouble with that cut over the left eye because uh, they haven't quite staunched it in the corner there between rounds. Oh, now that right hand got through now. Tyson's really, really getting mad at Bone Crusher for hanging on him. And you don't get disqualified in American ring unless it's really is persistent fouling. Shouting out, don't wait in Tyson's corner. Let punches go. Well, I tell you, the expression on his face now, Smith, is sort of nobody knows the troubles I've seen. And he's grimaced in the whole time. Notice that? I can understand the reason for trying to nullify Tyson at close quarters, but not as blatantly as that. There it is again, you see. And the referee really having to work harder than the fighters at times. Oh, now he's, he's trying to unleash some punches there, Smith. Desperation starting to set in in the third. Uh, he's talking to the referee, the uh, Bone Crusher, who's complaining about something. 
probably the way Tyson's head was coming in there. Tyson, I think, would prefer Bone Crusher to open up with him and start trading punches, but he won't do it. Well, they're still, and they're not going to go at it again, I hope. They're, it's a pity they don't fight harder during the round instead of waiting until the bell goes. He's a jab He's the one who so there, Kevin Mooney calling for Mike Tyson to use his jab more. But uh, no question, Tyson ahead because uh, Bone Crusher just hasn't done enough. Coming up for the fourth then. And there's been quite a lot of betting on how many rounds this would go. So I think quite a few people here have, uh, as they say, done their money. so dangerous when he throws that long right hand to Bone Crusher Smith but it just missed the target again well you know sometimes heavyweights they can come apart overnight <laughs> in this game, particularly when they get past the great divide, the age of 30. And I'm just wondering whether this could have happened to Bone Crusher because he's just not throwing the effective punches that we've seen him, certainly in the Witherspoon fight, and Mike Weaver he knocked out in one round. But they're all the same in the Tyson camp that uh, this fellow, uh, Mike, intimidates his opponents, and I think he's done it here. Well, a clean finish for that one, although Tyson was still giving him the stare as if if you want to go on without the break, it's okay by me. So we're going to get a bit of that now. It's a, a little bit of touch of the all-in wrestling has hit us now. Yes, we warned him there for misuse of the elbow, Tyson. So that's where they get the expression, giving him the elbow. One thing for Smith trying to make Tyson look ordinary, but he's not doing anything to win the fight by walking away like that. We haven't come to see road work. And the referee uh, has got to do something about that. Well, if Smith's got any ideas that Tyson won't stay the course or fall apart, that's a mistake because he's simply not working him hard enough to do that. Well, 
of time in his amateur career when Tyson got mad at an opponent who refused to fight him and walked out the ring and got disqualified for it. And they're still at it. On. I had never seen certainly a championship fight where they're going at it after the bell like this. You're scratching my face. You're scratching me. You hear what he said there to the referee, you're scratching my face. The referee came over to get some grease off his face. Actually, he should have left it to the second. And that's another one I've never heard of in this game. Round seven. Oh, that's possibly the best punch. He's taken him seven rounds to get through, and he's trying to laugh at it now, Smith. And a man in the, it's a tough game this when you can be hit on the chin and laugh, I tell you. He tried to almost creep inside in there, didn't he? Duck under the fence and then throw the shot. who's going to stay the course better of the two because uh, don't forget that Frank Bruno was winning quite easily at Wembley but uh, sort of ran out of gas and ran into a punch and Bruno and uh, Smith won in the last round in the 10th but this one's scheduled for 12. The blood showing again now around Smith's face. almost hit him on the floor there and he, he fell across his feet there there was no knockdown and referee Mills Lane quite right there that only adds to the, the tension and the needle that it hasn't just crept in it's, it's been there from the start now he's standing and trading Smith this is what we've been waiting for That's the best round for Smith there at the end. He really clobbered him at the finish, but he took the punch well, Tyson. Let's have a look at some replay now of that one. Got inside, and you see that slip, you see, fell over, and just as well he missed him with that punch. So just he's just trying to roughhouse him as much as he can, but fell across his legs there, Tyson. He was more embarrassed than hurt. Pop goes to gum shield back in again there. It's the only protection that are allowed above the waistline in boxing for round eight. And at the end of the seventh there, Bone Crusher Smith really unloaded some dangerous looking punches. Now, as this is really what he's been trying to do from the start or not. Have we read, have I read the fight wrongly in that sense that uh, I thought he was kind of just ineffectual, but maybe he was hoping to wear Tyson down. He's, he's got it to do though, he simply hasn't done enough early on, he's way behind. They're calling out numbers in Tyson's corner, their plan numbers, whatever that is for the practice punches that they want him to unload. Rather like a quarterback calling for the team in football here. That was more like it, but it still didn't rock Smith. Let's not call him break though, it's surprising he's trying to physically part them the whole time and he's only a little fellow to work for you. It's really hard work in there for him. His shirt's blood spattered. Oh, that was more spectacular. You know, the photographer's camera's clipped at that point. So another point off for Smith for holding. 
so really he's got no chance now, he's got to knock Tyson out. Round nine, and Mike Tyson undeniably well ahead, as particularly as twice the referee's taken points away from Smith for holding. what it matters the three knockdown rule is in effect which if one boxer goes down three times in a round it's automatically over as it was with bone crusher against Tim Witherspoon it's a combination of the uh, boxing council and boxing association rules on this one Tyson's not the sort of fighter that to uh, is ever satisfied of winning on points, even if it's clearly. He had to do that twice in 28 fights. In fact, he stopped Jose Ribalta in the last round. But it's now up to Tyson to track him down and cut the ringside down, cut the corners off a bit when he's doing that. So the crowd now are jeering Smith, and understandably so. Well, great expectations for that one, but uh, really it was only half a punch. It looked better than it was. of course because Tyson has set his own standards by knocking people out so spectacularly that when it doesn't happen you get disappointed but with him what can I tell you it's it's any second he can do it it's just it's shown up the inexperience a bit of Tyson here the tenth round scheduled for 12, this uh, unification of the heavyweight championship of the world. With Mike Tyson well ahead, but uh, Bone Crusher just uh, showing up some of the limitations with the young terror. Tyson can draw Smith into a fight, into just standing there and trading level with him. And he's got more chance of landing his famous knockout punch. He's six pounds heavier Smith than when he fought Frank Bruno back in uh, 84, which ended in the 10th round. seconds in Smith's corner to keep that left eye uh, injury staunched okay. But early on that just uh, might worsen a bit and have to be stuck and that would have been a pity to... Well we're now certainly seeing uh, Tyson extended anyway because uh, if it goes further than this round it'll be totally new territory for uh, Tyson. He's only completed 10 rounds twice. He's still running with a full head of steam there, Tyson. I'm sure of that anyway. Just can't get through the long arms and the, the sheer physical size of this man. Well, 
you get the feeling that Bone Crush is saying, well, I may not be the best uh, heavyweight champion that you've seen around, but I'm going to spoil it for those who think they are. Eleventh round, in this familiar sort of, well, I don't suppose it's a nervous twitch, but a habit that uh, Tyson has of twitching his head, and he said to the seconds, I feel great. So he's not worried about coming to the eleventh round for the first time in his career. At this pace, he could fight all night, including between rounds. They've yelled in the Crusher's corner there to use the left hook to the body, forget the right hand. Emil Griffiths has been telling him. But I'm not sure that's a good tactic at all. I wouldn't have thought punches to the body would worry Tyson. He's built like a freight train, he does, and he comes straight ahead on rails at you. Well, he tried it there, but it was just, it wasn't to the body, but it was just below the chin. Acknowledged the corner there, Tyson. Uh, took his eyes off the opponent. Oh, it was a bit risky to do. Midway through the 11th. The referee's taking a chance when he gets in between them there. He really could catch a blow. That's why he should be calling break, really. Tyson, who must have heard what they were saying in Crusher's corner, he used the left hook to the body instead there. Well, that's really a little bit of time wasting all the all the way there with the uh, phone crush. He just he just hasn't got the fitness or the youth anymore, to be honest. That's probably he didn't start to professional boxing until he was 28. Twelfth and final round then of this heavyweight championship and uh, Tyson rather reluctantly seemed to me wanted to touch gloves, the old formality. Uh, as I said before, it's a bit like the dentist uh, being a nice fella on the way in before he's about to perform. So, can either one of them really pull off that uh, big finish? It's been known, of course, many times in the fight game. Both saturated with water. And it's quite nippy here now, in the, this time of night in the desert of Las Vegas. Really is immensely fit Tyson, that's for sure, because he's still got a lot of spring in his legs. But he hasn't been on the receiving end that much, worse, so I'm not surprised that he's still full of running in the last round. Referee doesn't score, by the way. One Mexican judge and two from Nevada. It's all the head shaking and the smiling from Smith, as if to say, well, they said you were a phenomenal puncher, but you haven't nailed me.
when you think of Tyson's background, he hasn't done too badly for a fellow that's been learning his business out of gross $5 million before this fight. And there's jeering coming in the last round. I think they wanted to see them really have a go, and particularly Smith. Chance for Tyson, Tyson, Tyson now from the crowd. And it's hard to fight a man who doesn't want to fight for the full three minutes of every round. So there's the countdown clock and a little bit of play acting now from Smith. Uh, as if he's going to say, well, I'm satisfied to have stayed the course with you. And that was... A hard right hand from Smith, and he recognised it, and I think Tyson did. And this will keep going at the after the bell. And he saved almost to the last 10 seconds his best punch of the fight, I thought, Bone Crusher Smith. But now they've, they, at least the old gladiators have brought a smile now and finished up mates and made a lot of money together and uh, got rid of uh, all that tension and hate that seems to have been shown all the way through. Here is the decision of the judges. Judge Lou Tabbitt scores 120, 106. Oh, what a big score that is. Judge Jojo Guerra scores. Every round of Tyson. 119, 107. So he lost one round Dalton on that card. Judge Shirley scores 119, Lost one round on that card. For the new well, WBA, WBC. A runaway points WBA victory WBA then, isn't it? For Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. So he stood up to be the Iron Man for not going off his feet. There's a certain amount of disappointment. But Mike Tyson then retained his unbeaten record. And now the undisputed champion of the world because Mike Spinks no longer holds the IBF version.